Three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of Comedy Pinata. Yeah, yeah. I was hitting um, it. You hit it. You did the pin. Yeah. Is By the way, we're. Uh, I hope it's not um, cultural appropriation for us to <laughs> say pinata the way we did. Pinata. How are you a- supposed to say it? Pinata. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, as you know. Got to thank our sponsors. Did you know car repossession is on the rise? <laughs> Do you know you also have every right to stop a repo guy from taking your car? Consumers have broad rights to stop a car repossession from happening, and that is where the law firm Sue the Collector can help you. If your car is about to be repossessed or your car was repossessed and you verbally told them to stop, leave your car alone, you were physically hurt or injured by the repo agent, or they took the wrong car altogether, what? You may have a case. The attorneys that Sue the Collector specialize in wrongful car repossession and can help you or... Your loved one. If you or your loved one were injured, lost valuables, or wrongfully had your car repossessed, call us now. One eight seven seven bad repo. One eight seven seven bad repo. This kid does not phone it in. One eight seven seven bad repo. That was so good. One eight seven seven good Reno. Good Reno. Yeah. Eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> Reno, Reno's back with us. Reno, thank you again. Yeah. Man. Um. Reno, a few like a week or two ago, said, "Hey, man, when are we going to get new artwork? We are getting new artwork. We're going to work on new artwork. So it's uh, comedy pinata, Steve Burnt, and Reno Collier. So Reno's joining the fold officially in official yeah, capacity. And thank you, buddy, again for dude. I jumping love on board. doing this. So fun. This is fun, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. How was? Uh, so you were not on the road last week. No, I was uh, in uh, East Tennessee with my family. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, it was good." Good. Good food. And how about you? I haven't had a week off in, I don't know. Dude, you don't stop. Do it's you? been, well, this is post my special coming out, which hasn't come out yet because it comes out this Friday. But when this airs, it will have come out. Yeah. And thanks, everybody, for watching my new hour special, The Last Late Night, that's uh, right now on Amazon Prime. Uh, it, it premiered Friday. It premiered Friday, December 2nd. Right. Even though we're in the. F- that's in the future. Right. I'm talking about in the past. Yeah, in the future. Dude, you had like 100 million views. It's the craziest thing, yeah. It was um, the biggest special of all time. And that that's doesn't what I keep happen. hearing. Chappelle called me and said, I got to go back to work. He called me and asked how he could get on Comedy Pinata. And I go, look, I'm not on the artwork yet. <laughs> I'm just not there yet. <laughs> but but I'll get you. I'll try. I know Steve. That's right, yeah. I know yeah. Steve. My parents, my parents called crying and they said, this is the reason why we had you. Yeah. Thank you for putting that out for there in the world. For this special. Exactly, yeah. yeah. My wife... My wife... Uh, You're going to leave her now with all the success, aren't uh, well, you? Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell her on the podcast right now, I'm leaving you. Uh, there's a 20-year-old Russian stripper I met in Vegas that's dropping a hip-hop album very shortly, so... Uh, sorry, guys, and I'll see the kids, I guess, when they turn 18, but... Uh, I loved you and thanks for all the good times. Uh, and but but you have an hour coming out. We were just talking yeah. about it before. Yeah, on Hitcore. Hitcore. H I T K O R. Yeah, it's so a. When new, does it come out? So they're editing and everything. I don't have the exact date. Got I already it. shot okay. it. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to shoot another one coming up that's going to be live. Yeah. It's kind of a. Uh, it's going to be a little bit about sobriety and stuff like that, which I, I know every time I say that word with comedy, yeah. I remember being like, oh, shut up. Like right. when I drank it, I'm like, dude, th- 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 those are the opposite. Th- it's like, sure. it's not, but it's not a youth group. It's not like a bunch of AA jokes. And you know what I mean? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? The guy from under the bridge. You yeah, know, it's not, yeah. it's not like that, but it, I, I'm trying as I get older to do things that affect people in a positive way. Sure, yeah. Like, I want to get up to heaven and have God go, look, dude, those first 45 years were a dumpster fire, but I like what you did at the end. <laughs> get in here, you little freak. You know what I mean? Kind of sneak in on the back. I always love uh, Argus Hamilton has this great joke about getting sober. He's like, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. I was in a hot tub in Bel Air. I was drinking 1942 tequila with a blonde nine and a brunette 10, doing cocaine, Drinking the wee hours of the night, doing whatever we wanted to do carnally. And uh, I just thought, it can't get any worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's hysterical. It's, like, it's such a great joke about. So there's, there's humor to be found in everything. And I think that's such a great angle. And, 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 and as we go on, you learn in this profession so many of our brethren and sisters in the comedy fold. Uh, 
have just you know kind of stepped away from the bottle. Yeah. And uh, I think there's so many more people out there that can relate to that than don't. Yeah, you know? I'm not. I'm not anti-drinking. Yeah. At all. I just can't do anything a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I don't have that in me. To, if one's good, 12's bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sure, I just yeah. have that. But it's so funny now because so many comics now don't even drink. Well, they're all vaping. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, but I mean, like when I came up, it was just. I mean, yeah. nah, 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 nah. you know, nobody's <laughs> writing jokes. You know, we're going to go write. No, we're not. We're not going to yeah. do that at all. Yeah. And it was just chaos, you know. And now it's so funny because I go out with guys and, you know, my friends that still drink. A lot of them are dead, but the ones that are still around that are sure. still hanging in their 50s and, you know, boozing it up. And they're like, dude, you're not even going to have one beer with me? And I'm like, man, I, no, I can't, dude. But right. I'm going to hang out with you and everything. It's fine. Yeah. You know, then they have three and they're like, you puss, you know, you can't believe you do this. Then they have 12 and they're like, man, how did you stop? <laughs> and I'm like, screw you, dude. I just sat here and listened to your shit for four hours. I'm not even going to help you. <laughs> you know? <It's> so funny. <laughs> it's just such a, a different dynamic yeah. from, I mean, I came up on the punchline in Atlanta where you know the, you're doing shots with the waitresses and they're all hot and everyone's just running amok and it was Kenny Rogerson and Blake Clark you know like yeah. those guys that were just animals yeah you know so much fun but you know you get older and it's like uh, you know yeah yeah look I, I think I think there's you have a license almost to have fun when yeah. you're in your twenties and. 30s and then your late 30s you're kind of like all right you know i think we gotta wrap it up but then there's some guys that just keep going and that yeah that's the creepy uncle with Dude, the leather jacket on and right. the, <laughs> at the bar yeah if you're 20 and you walk out of a comedy club and you're a comic and you fall on your face it's funny yeah if you're 50 it's not it's sad it's like it's like oh that's someone's dad <laughs> uh, right, our yeah. tax money's gonna go to their kids it's yeah you know exactly, what i mean yeah <laughs> so it's like <laughs> i'm just uh I'm thankful that I was able to pull myself out of it because a lot of people sure. don't. You know no, I mean? no, I agree with you. And and there's look, we we all have friends in this profession that you see and you're just like, mm, yeah. you got to get it together at some point, you know. Yeah, professionally and personally. But you know, uh, look for Reno's new. But we'll, we'll obviously have details on Hit Core. It will be coming out soon. Let's get to our first comic. Yeah, man. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Mike Turner. Okay. I'm oh. not familiar with Mike Turner. I, that's Mr. Turner's kid, Mike. Who's Mr. Turner? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Turner, Taylor, can you refresh me on Mike Turner? Do I? Oh, like a young newcomer? Young guy? Okay, he's a newer comic. Listen, you got to put that kid on. We had a lost episode that never happened because we had, uh, like, the power went out, and we had a, an episode where we lost um, some good comics. There was a young black comic. What is his name? Mandel. Mandel. He was you funny. You got to get him back on because I, 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 I love that, uh, that set of his, so I'd like to see it. But, uh, and, and you got to put Andrew Schultz back on because we had a, we had a great Andrew yeah. Schultz bid. And, guys, and then Obama did um, uh, comedy. We had that on, too. Yep. And then Joy Behar um blew she, a donkey like she a did. donkey show in mexico no 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 that was we... whoopi gulp <laughs> joy yeah. behar was the donkey right got and it whoop, yeah and then okay. whoopi <laughs> <laughs> okay here we go how about this mike is... turner <laughs> <laughs> mike turner how about that mike okay. turner not familiar with mike turner very excited to see uh, a comic that i'm not familiar with <laughs> but i uh so i moved to Los Angeles, California to pursue my dreams and passions in January of 2020. <laughs> yeah, tough, tough timing. But I, uh, but it's been interesting being out there and shit like that. Like I'm trying to just, you know, be more aware of shit. Like, cause I moved from Arizona to LA. So just different, you know, ideologies, different shit. I got a, a lot of woke motherfuckers out there. You know what I mean? But I've been, I've been opening my eyes up to different shit. Like, I was out there for a lot of things, seeing some stuff. Like, I was out there for the whole Black Lives Matter movement and shit like that. you just that. pause it for a sec? Um. Okay. I'm not knocking this guy. Yeah. But it's been, I don't know, like 10, 15, 20 seconds. And it seems like already he's talked about three different things. I moved to L.A. I moved from Arizona. And I'm just like, okay. So I know this is going somewhere. I know this is going someplace, but I just think 
already out of the gates, it's like, just give me something. Yeah. Give give us just even the slightest, the slightest hint of a joke that I can that, that can give me a little bit of tailwinds to the next thing because it's like there's already been three setups and I haven't heard anything dude yet. I already started going what kind of candy is in there <laughs> <laughs> this is the second set we've seen on this show from somebody in this can what is what club yeah, what, is this? what is this okay Do you so know what it's, it, it's a fucking... like a milkshake store or something it's like in those candy stores in the mall, in the mall or the fucking uh, airports that's the worst have. thing about like when people think like well we have a candy store Let's but what are we doing from seven to nine? Really, I mean, Did we're not jokes. selling. Yeah, um, hey. Okay, so so I, I'm not uh, again. I I don't know Mike uh, personally or whatever. This is just just me reacting in real time. So okay, here here we go. Press play. Um, you know, I went out into the protest myself. I was new to town. I thought it'd be a good way to meet people. <laughs> um, rub some elbows, kiss some babies. You know what I mean? <laughs> but what I do? I walked out of there with a black girlfriend. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? A lot of you motherfuckers went home and put a black square on your Instagram. I go home, I go down on a black box, okay? <laughs> Talking to talk, walking the walk, all right? Man in the mirror, it's a Michael Jackson song that my girlfriend told me about. You guys should look that one up. That's very funny. Time to make a change. See, why don't you just start the set with this, you yeah. know? That's my point. But I was out there for that. I was out there for the whole election cycle. That shit was crazy. That was fucking nuts. These last couple elections just been pissing me off. They're just fucking, you know, just horrible options. Because I remember, you know, I've been voting since 2004. I just remember when it was just easy decisions, you know what I mean? Because I vote like a lot of us vote. Like, I vote for the person who, first of all, has symmetrical facial features. <laughs> That's big. That's why Ted Cruz is never going to win. Um, I don't know if he's got HD at the crib, but his nose is going left or right on my 55-inch TCL. <laughs> And then I vote for the person that I want to drink a beer with or smoke a blunt with, right? Like, you just vote for the person you want to kick with at a party. You know what I mean? But back in 04, that's easy as fuck. That's George W. Bush every fucking time. That's the fucking homie, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can plan 9-11, you can probably plan a party, okay? <laughs> also, he's bringing the six-pack you're drinking from, you're twisting the blunt up in the back, he's leaning in, like, you're put cocaine in that? You know what I mean? <laughs> Prima? I can shotgun it for you. They call me Leather Tongue. <laughs> 08 comes around, the 08 election. That's the easiest shit. Obama's the homie, you know what I'm saying? That dude's cool as fuck. He got big ass ears, but they're symmetrical, all right? <laughs> and you know what he does at parties? He walks into every room with his wife looking like he just fucked her. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. You want a dude that looks like he just laid it down in the room prior, okay? <laughs> also, he's walking into every big meeting with post nut clarity. You, know what I'm you want your world leader walking into international meetings with a loaded gun? No, you want to clear that out, all right? And then think about it from the flip side. Who'd he beat, right? He beat John McCain. And, uh, you know, I'm from Arizona. I fuck with John McCain heavy, but let's be real. He couldn't raise his arms above his shoulders. I'll tell you right now, if you can't raise the roof, you're not going to raise my taxes. And then he beat Mitt Romney, and that's just a full-grown man named after a baseball glove. And, uh, it's a hard pass for me. And I don't know if you know a lot about his religious beliefs, but he's wearing full-body underwears under that suit. Uh, I just need boxer briefs, you know what I'm saying? I just need that. And then 2016 comes around, that election, it's like, what the fuck are these options? You know what I'm saying? Like on one side, sure, Trump at a party, like he sounds cool, he knows Kanye West, he fucked a porn star, he's talking about something called Space Force, right? But then you bring the hard drugs out and he's like, actually, I'm stone cold sober. It's like, dude, nobody trusts that, okay? <laughs> and then Hillary at the party, she's turning the music down all damn night, right? <laughs> and it's like, look, bitch, we only invited you because your husband's cool, okay? <laughs> like, we don't fuck with you like that. But I did, I did side with her on that election because I just like the idea that Slick Will was gonna be back up in the crib. <laughs> Old Billy Boy back up in the spot, popping his head out like, what's good, bitches, I'm back. How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, they got me in the same room as last time. I don't know how it worked out either, the same room. Are you still here, girl? You got thick, what's up? Okay. Woo! What do you think? Um, all right. <laughs> He's laughing hysterically back there behind watching this with us. Taylor loves us. Taylor right. loves it. Yeah. Loves it. I I've think never he seen it. I've never seen his head move during one of my clips. Right. And he was dying <laughs> laughing. Right. I just yeah. think it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. I don't. Um, 
I, I, that's just not my wheelhouse yeah. of the style. But, there, I mean, the crowd's having fun. Sure. <sighs> it's just not, it's not clicking it's not, for you? It, it, it feel, it, my feeling was, and I yeah. could be totally wrong. And, dude, I'm not trying to slam this guy sure, or anything. Sure, sure. But sometimes I feel like somebody had jokes from a long time ago. Right. And they want to pull them back into something. So they go through a historical thing to be able to get back to a George Bush joke in 2022. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And then it's like a and, – and I could be wrong. Maybe right. he may not have written it that way. Right. You know what I mean? But that's just not my sure. cup of tea. It's not bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's up there, and he's, the crowd's loving it. Yeah. And he he's back there laughing his ass up. So I don't know if I'm just have a head cold and I'm missing something, <laughs> or it just didn't it just didn't run with me. But yeah. But I, I he also seems like one of those guys. If you see him live, mm -hmm. he's better live. Yeah. I, I look. I think that's probably true for like ninety eight percent of the comics yeah. we see. I mean, Absolutely. it's just like every, anytime my correlation for anybody at home is like. Yeah, anytime you see fireworks on the 4th of July on TV, it's like, oh, it's kind of cool. But being there, that's the difference, right? Yeah. It's the same thing, right. I think, with stand-up. I, I think stand-up live is just so much better. And how many times do we hear it? Like, oh, you're so much better live because I watch you on YouTube. Yeah. It's like, yeah, of course, dipshit. Yeah, right. it's going to be great. It's room. like difference between jerking off and fucking. <laughs> it's, it's the difference. But Mike Turner, <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, I, liked, I liked him. I thought he has... Uh, uh, he's got his voice, right? Yeah. He 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 knows his style. He's very comfortable. He's got a good delivery. He's not selling it. He's not pushing it. Um, yeah, I, I think this is this is of the younger comics I've been seeing lately, or whatever. It's like okay, well, there's bits there. Right. My thing was, God damn, we're, we're like 15, 20 seconds in. I haven't heard one joke. And then once he got into it, it's like okay, it was layered. There was. There were definitely bits in there, you know, right. and some of them uh, I, I really did enjoy. I, th I thought, oh, it's a good bit. You know, look, we're comics, so we've seen everything. So I'm right. not going to sit here and guffaw and laugh out loud. I mean, there are certainly bits like the Energy Schultz bit we saw. Like yeah. I was literally laughing out loud at that um, last episode that never aired. But right. this this one, I was like, I was sitting there going, OK, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, but, but dude, there's a lot of guys who are famous. Mm -hmm. That I, they're just not in my. I mean, comedy's so subjective. S like same, yeah. his stage presence is fantastic. He's got material, yeah. you know, that he got into, and he got a role going with the crowd, and kind of a dun 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 dun, dun boom, dun dun dun, dun yeah. boom. It was dun, almost dun, like dun, if Kenny Powers did stand up. You know, yeah, that's what and I, I couldn't. Like and the other watching, thing yeah. is, is I just watched Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, and mm -hmm. I couldn't get over the fact that he resembled John Candy. It was in my head. Little, yeah, but he was yeah. talking like Ralphie. So it was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Ralphie from a Christmas Ralphie story, May, but yeah, Ralphie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, kind of yeah. like, yeah, man. I told him, man, you ain't gonna come up and give me that thing. Yeah, like that. It just kind of. I was thinking about other stuff, and it's sure, probably yeah. not his fault, but yeah, it just wasn't my. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, I look. I think he's. He's definitely younger comic. Yeah. Uh, I think he's a. He's a pretty good comic. He just moved to L.A., and this is somebody. If I saw him at the Improv or whatever, I'd, I'd go in and watch again because I'd want to know how much they've developed since moving to L.A. and being exposed to uh, a better scene. I think a better scene makes a better comic. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't stray too. I, I, I like him more, I think, than you liked him. But I also think there's, there's definitely room for growth. But there always is. There's, there always there's is. Room, yeah. And there's I still room for me to grow. I didn't you know? dislike him. Yeah. I just had a, f just, I just had a feeling that he's green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he's, yeah, he's yeah. kind of just not, and and like you said, if he'd have come out, bing, bang, boom, bump, you know what I mean? Sure, yeah, yeah. It would have, yeah. it would have been a little better for me. But dude, just because I, you know, it's not my thing, that doesn't mean anything. Sure, yeah, yeah. No, but I, but I, I, I agree. I truncate the top, get right to it, um, and let's get to the bits. But yeah, yeah. thank you. I mean, Taylor. somebody could easily pull up a tape of me and be like, "Hey, watch this and tell me what you think." I'd be like, "That yeah. guy sucks." But it's amazing. A, a guy Mike Turner's <laughs> been doing it seven, eight years oh. is making him fucking die laugh. Yeah. Oh, and he's just, oh, this is the greatest thing show I've ever Steve seen. Steve Byrne, Reno Collier, the hat yeah. just stays still behind yeah. that fucking monitor. He's like, oh. If anything, you start seeing it go like this. <laughs> yeah. like, All right, here we go. This is uh, Chris Shabazz, Kiri, Kiri Shabazz. Did I say that right? Kiri Shabazz? Again, I don't know. Do you know? Uh -uh. No clue. Okay, no context. I'm not sure. Uh, but here we go. Kiri Shabazz. People get upset about gender. They do, man. It's 
lady got mad at me because I misgendered her baby. We were in a long line. I said, hey, uh, she dropped her binky. She was like, you mean his binky? He's a boy. It's obvious he's a boy. He's wearing blue. Boys wear blue. And the best thing about this conversation is she had on the blue cardigan. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? You're right, sir. I apologize. <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin this father-son moment. <laughs> he didn't like that one bit. He was very upset about that. He tried to hit me, but I was wearing a pink shirt. I was like, mm, you can't hit a lady. No, no, no. <laughs> People get mad, man. But I get it as a parent. I don't know what you know, that's like. Really protective of your kids. Parents have a hard job because you have to prepare your kid for the future you want them to have and the future they're going to have. And I witnessed that. It's real shit. Like, I witnessed it. I was at my sister's house, and my niece came home crying. She was hysterical because some little boy at school called her a bitch. And, I, you know, my instinct was, like, to protect her in that moment. Like, yo, like, you are a young woman, a beautiful young woman. No man should ever disrespect you. But like in reality, it's like, I want to be like, we live in the hood. You got to toughen up, bitch, look. <laughs> <laughs> you got a long, rough road ahead of you, okay? <laughs> I called your mama, bitch, on the way over here, I said. <laughs> bitch, you got that $50 I need. <laughs> you got to toughen up, man. You know, because like where I'm from, ma'am, like, when we say bitch, it just means hello, fair lady. Like, it just means... <laughs> Good day, madam. It's just a... Hello, bitch. Hello, fuck boy. Chip, chip, and we marry on. <laughs> so that ain't no big deal. You're a fucking Taylor. Loving oh, it. Oh, man. We just get through the day. Now, I don't live in the hood no more. I live out in Silver Lake. You laughed because, yeah, you know, I don't belong in... Fucking, I'm only wearing these glasses so white people trust me. That's, it. that's the only. That's the only reason. Like these glasses are the equivalent of when like white women put bandanas on pit bulls. Like this is. You, y'all know what I mean? Like, when they adopt a pit bull, put a bandana on them, and name them Oliver. Like these. <laughs> Give him a fucking puppuccino. Like, I, that, this is this for me. Puppuccino. <laughs> tired of Silver Lake, man. I, cause to me, I sound pleasant. When I go to order my coffee and snacks, I'm like, hi, can I please have a scone? <laughs> but they hear, give me all the money, bitch. Like, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I frighten them. Everything I do, I fucking. All right. Great. Love the stage presence. Great. Um, yeah. Very funny. I thought uh, his he's so relaxed. And, yeah. Uh, and kind of a... I don't know how to explain it. I, I thought he was great. I did too, yeah. I, I think, um, again, he's not eager to be there. He's not young. You know, obviously he's a younger comic. Uh, out there in L.A., one of those outdoor shows, uh, you know, one of the Silver Lake kind of, you know, you, you know what the vibe you're walking into, but... But yeah, I think uh, I think he did a good job. He's also got like really great perspective, which I appreciate um, about his material. Um, the whole glasses and pit bull thing is fucking really I really funny. Great, yeah. Again, like I'm not gonna like die laughing hysterically. It's just like this is what I like about him is that he's bringing you into his world and giving you um, you know his perspective. These are things that actually happen to him. So I, I I don't know. I really appreciated that. And that the first joke was really great yeah. about the misgender, pink shirt, blue shirt. Just you know, I've heard you know variations, but I liked his take on it. It was really original, and I thought it was I thought it was fucking great. Yeah, I did too. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw him on like a sitcom in two or three years. Right. You know, as like a, a supporting character. Yeah. He's like castable. He's got a look. Uh, he's got presence. He's just comfortable in the pocket. I, I, I enjoyed him. Yeah. Kiri Shabazz. Yeah, good. I did too, Any man. thoughts on him? I thought he was good. I, I, I'm still, the, these backgrounds are throwing me a little bit. <laughs> the candy store and then the yeah. somebody shed or you see the window. and the, Sure, yeah. But, uh, you know, a lot of these guys had to make tapes during COVID or after COVID or, yeah. you know, all that different stuff. But uh, I thought his stage presence was fantastic. Yeah. And it, he kind of has that um, calming 
demeanor yeah, where he's, he's being himself. He's yeah. not trying to be a tough guy. He's not like hood this, hood that. Yeah. You know, he's he's more um, just being himself. Yeah. I thought it was very genuine, and I thought it was great. Yeah, he's somebody I would I would definitely, if I saw him going up, they'd be like, oh, I'd, I'd, I'd sit and watch. Yeah. Hope, hope to see some new stuff from him and new perspectives. But, yeah, very, very talented. Um, Absolutely. Comedy's in good hands if more guys like him are doing it. So here we go. Shane Torres. Any thoughts? I don't know any of no? these guys. I'm old, dude. Like, okay. <laughs> Just watch Shane. Where are you finding these? Oh, my God. And you, I drink less. You turn it up. And it is still a problematic amount. <laughs> it's like the kind of drinking, if we went to brunch, you'd be like, who gets scotch with a waffle? <laughs> That's where I'm at as the single guy in my friend group. And like, I like, I haven't made enough mistakes to be sober, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, like no one is worried about my drinking a lot. You know, like most people are like, well, that's, I wouldn't do it, but like, that, like, and it's weird, you know, because like I, I I have friends that are sober now, and honest to God, uh, I hate it. <laughs> I have never had a friend whose sobriety was less irritating than their addiction was troubling. <laughs> It's, uh, it's an exhausting experience, like, I have friends, I, this dude Todd that I like came up with here, I love him. We started out in this city together and I'd call him, he's sober now and he, he caught a touch of Christ. Uh, <laughs> mean something different if you're Catholic. And I, uh, yeah. Good, like, fuck him, you know? <laughs> but this guy was the best. I'd call him and be like, hey, man, we're going to go out and have a few cocktails tonight. What do you say? And he'd be like, yeah, fuck child support. He'd be like, <laughs> okay, Toddy. So I'm going to have a barbecue. It's like, I'm going to shoot my gun in your pool. <laughs> Let's get the kids out of there. <laughs> and now he's sober. And he fucking sucks. Like, <laughs> there are a million troubling things to me about his sobriety. And one of them is like, he, he really thinks he's better than people. Because he doesn't, have you met this fucking person? Like, they clean up. Like, we'll be out to dinner and he'll just say something really passive aggressive like they just be like are you really gonna have a fifth bottle of wine with dinner <laughs> like yeah Todd I'll have cocaine with my carrot cake I'm not the one with the fucking problem at the table <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden you're not parking on your neighbor's lawn at four in the morning you're better than everybody else <laughs> Todd that's a dumbass name Like, I, who the fuck looks at a newborn baby not yet having sinned in this world sees their child draw its first breath and thinks, Todd. <laughs> hey, guys. All right, Shane Torres. I, I've heard of Shane's name many times. Uh, I don't think I've ever met him personally, but uh, but yeah, I mean that's that's the difference, right? You're seeing two younger comics. You're seeing somebody that's been around quite some time up there, really, really just comfortable in the pocket, doing his thing, uh, and really funny bits. Um, I like the sobriety angle since we're talking about this, but yeah. I liked it hearing it from the friend who's still drinking's perspective. Oh yeah. That. And the setup was so good in that. Like you know, you ever talk to somebody that, that that's 
like they're better than you, passive aggressive. And then fifth bottle. I mean, it's just a it's a great joke. That's Dude, a great joke. He reminded me of an old school. He like watching him. I felt like I was going back to the '90s or 2000s. Not his material. Yeah. But that old style that Ron a little White, rock and roll, a little a little saloon. Yeah. Kind of yeah. uh, you know like the, like Ron White was like that before. They dressed him up and yeah, that's the guy that the club likes to have because they know the fucking alcohol. They're going to sell gonna go a ton up. of booze. Yeah, he's going to kill. Yeah, and you know it's it's playing to what's going on. You know, because mm-hmm. everybody's drinking in the club and the yeah, you know, and, and having. I, I thought he was great. I like that old school style of yeah. you know, he, and he he was pulling off that he was still thinking about it. Sure, yeah, which was a pro yeah. move and that kind of like you know. Uh, like I'm just coming up with this right now, right, right, in a yeah. way that clearly he's drum probably, rolling the right, bit. right, right. Yeah, he 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 was really good. I, I liked his uh, again. I like his presence. I like all three comics we've seen today. Uh, I really liked him. I thought he was great. And um, yeah, I mean that's somebody where I would watch that set if I was at the store, the Improv, or the factory, yeah. going, "Hey, let's go get a let's get a little shot. You want to do a shot together? That was a great set, man. Yeah, what do you have to, you know that that." He just invites that, so that's why again, like alcohol sales. I remember Kreischer telling me when he was out touring years ago, before he became, you know, the big draw that he is now. That clubs, he never hit bonuses, but clubs loved having him because he would drink so much and party so much on stage that um, the alcohol sales would be almost like his bonus for the club. Dude, I used to have the same thing. Yeah. Club, they tell me all the time, they're like, we sell more booze. Then they'd be like, the only problem we have is there's spit cups on the floor everywhere, and that kind of uh. takes away from the, <laughs> you know, rednecks and, or, the, or people. Hey, one y'all. Guy, one guy told me. I, just, <laughs> I got good thing, a big old shit. <laughs> one guy told me, one, one guy said, uh, I was in Kansas City, yeah. and he goes, uh, he goes, you have more people sneak booze into your shows than any other show oh, we shit. have. wow. Yeah, he goes, there's more of those little airplane bottles and Jim Beam things and stuff all over the floor for you than anybody else. That's pretty awesome, you man. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. That's right. Yeah, and now I don't drink anymore, and I'm better than them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I get, when he was saying that, that's exactly what I was trying. I, he put it in better words. What yeah, I was yeah, saying, what you were saying. At the, uh, it's top, hard because yeah. I used to be like, Dude, shut up. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to yeah. hear that shit. It's, it's like, like I, that's why I don't get into it too much mm-hmm. during my show, my stand up stuff. Right. I, I talk about me jacking stuff up, but I'm not anti. Sure. Yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And I never, I'm so cognizant of trying to not come across as. Not be that guy. Yeah. 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 You know? Well, he did a great job. I, I liked hearing the perspective of I'm not sober, I still booze. But yeah. my my best friend is, and here's the conundrum. And he's annoying. And he's annoying, and now he's yeah. awful. And it's like, yeah, that's. That's the relatable track you want to hear. That's the so, honesty. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot yeah. of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. So I'd love to see more of Shane Torres and uh, continued success to him. Um, all right. Last one. Let's see. I think this is still one of us. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Here we go. It's got to be. <sighs> Here's where Taylor <laughs> stops laughing. Okay. Taylor, you um, better laugh for this, <laughs> No, Taylor, don't, don't, I don't, don't, don't courtesy laugh either. Okay. This is coming out of champion date trade. Okay. This is... Uh, if this is what I think it is. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't remember this bit. I remember Something. the special bit. You girls ever go out on a date with a guy you did not like? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're clapping for it. It's messed up. Oh, I'm going to go out with him. I will go out with him. I don't like him. I think he's an asshole. But I got to eat. Here's the good news, girls. He ain't gonna get any. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got news for you girls that say he ain't gonna get any. This is America, and there is no such thing as a free lunch in this goddamn country. <laughs> That's right. That's the clapping of a patriot right there. <laughs> Ladies, everything you order on a menu, there's a trade-off physically if, if you take advantage of that fella. If you're there for the wrong reasons, here's what the guy's thinking, okay? Waiter comes over. So, can I start you off with something to drink? Yes. Yes, you can. I'll start off with a white wine. Uh, a white wine. Hmm. Could have gotten tap water. That's free. White wine is an $8 upcharge on my ticket. So now, we're kissing, officially. <laughs> this tongue. <laughs> it's going in that mouth. For my appetizer, I'm gonna get the soup and the salad. Soup and the salad, okay, both. Well, then my appetizer will be those titties, and I'll call that one soup, and I'll call that one salad. How about that? 
For my main course, I'll get the surf and turf. Most expensive thing. What you ordered? Me a blowjob. Thank you very much. <laughs> For a dessert, I'll get that cheesecake with that strawberry glaze on top. I'll provide a glaze of my own after we're done fucking. My God. <laughs> when does this end? Then after that, I'll get a digest teeth, one of those after dessert wines. I hate to say it, I am unlike myself. Anal. Now it's going on the back door. <laughs> it's out of principle. It's okay, young lady. Oh my God, Steve. No, it's okay. Jesus. I do an anal joke. You got a case of the giggles. That's your business. Okay. I touched a nerve. I want everybody in this room right now to do me a favor. Okay. I want you guys to get off your goddamn high horse because you are not better than this girl. All right. So don't you guys make a spectacle of this young lady, this girl that I'm pointing at. Don't you do that. If she likes it in the can, you mind your own P's and Q's. <laughs> Is that it? Ugh. Anal? No, she says. No, she says. The correct answer, young lady, is not no. The correct answer, not yet. It's coming. Death taxes and anal. It is coming, honey. It's coming like a full moon. Know this, it all starts with a dry pinky. But somewhere out there in this world, there's a freight train headed right towards that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> that freight train might be express, it might be commuter making all stops in between, but it's rock and roll towards that dot. Hang tight. Don't be scared. Stay strong. Don't be scared. Look how happy she is. <laughs> Beaming. All right. Well. <laughs> Where to begin? Look at his face. Where to begin? You love that. The menu thing, I, I hadn't seen that bit probably since I filmed this thing. And I'm like, oh, it's interesting. That's like an interesting way of looking at dating, that there's a trade-off for the entree, the dessert, all that stuff. Um, I, I just wish it was stronger. I, I wish thought it was, it was good. Like a, it's good. It's yeah. good, but it's not. like I think Dude, the, I got a piece so bad. Go, go, go. go piece. Can I yeah. go? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll tell you right now. I, I, I'll keep going. The premise... Is better than the execution of the joke, um, and it's something I would like. I, like after seeing that, I haven't seen that since I filmed it. I'd probably go back and and rework that and see if I can make that better. But then that whole anal tangent at the end, I was like, where the fuck? I don't remember doing any of that stuff. But parts of that are still in my act today. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've ever been to my show and you're in the front row. And you wonder, why did he ask me if I like anal? It's because of that fucking special right there. So that's it. Another episode of Comedy Pinata. <laughs> Rio's taking a piss. We'll just fucking end it. Um, you can keep up with all of his tour dates at renocollier.com. That's where you can keep up. And I'll be hitting the road myself. Brea Improv, Houston Improv, Sorry. Milwaukee Improv let's for New Year's Eve. I had to be, let's watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put it on again? I'm sorry, I couldn't no, concentrate. No, no, no. Let's We're start at the pinky, again. at the pinky, and the, <laughs> no. it's dry coming in the. What was the, it? Was about poop and stuff. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> classic Stevie. Cla that's the good stuff. That's you know, it's like bits I watch like that, right? And at the at the time, you're so proud of it. Yeah. Like, oh, that's fucking funny. It, it it's funny, right? But it's almost like I watch it. I'm like, it's serviceable. It's good. Yeah. It's not great, right? So I think that's, like, looking back on these, like, I can look at it and go, the premise is better than the joke. The premise is better than the execution, I should say. And it's something where, like, if I were to do that again, I'd, I, I would try to rework that and make it better. But at the same time, I, I think those are the bits that I look back on going, this is why I put in all the work I did, especially on the last hour, because I knew bits like that we're good, but not great. And if you're not great in this day and age where there's so many options of stand-up comedy, then why fucking do it? You yeah. know? So uh, I, I feel like that joke is a prime example of why I've always kind of been under the surface, like right there, right there. But I just never kind of broke through. Yeah. And um, now that The Last Late Night's come out and it's a huge success. Dude, biggest comedy the special biggest, ever. Uh, yeah. They they said they're Steven Spielberg wants to direct the film version uh, like the Fablemans, but about that stand up comedy special. Right. So I'm announcing it right now, and uh, apparently Ryan Gosling uh, 
wanted to do it, but I was like, he's just not good looking enough. He's so not. Fuck it. Yeah. Not to play I you. Need somebody. I need somebody more talented. Somebody that. That yes, Ryan Gosling can sing. Yes, he can dance. Yes, he can act. Yes, he's hilarious. But I just need a bit more. Yeah, he's. A it's not more. enough. It's not. It's never. It's is. not. It never you. Is. It's. It's so, the special's so great. Mm -hmm. You can't even play yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's. A, they'd be asking for a Steve Byrne type. You'd go in for that's it, right, and they'd yeah. be like, "That's not enough." This might be the greatest movie never made. It is. I think that's what's going to happen. God dang it, Chappelle. I'll let you on here. Dude. Yeah, fuck. He's so annoying. He hit me up too. It's like it's unbelievable, dude. Yes, yes. Dave, you leave us alone on here. You okay, can come on here. We will fucking review you. Okay, I'd rather just review you than have you on because we know what's going to happen if you show up. We're going to get an ashtray out here. You're going to go through a carton of cigarettes, yeah. and the episode's going to be ten fucking hours long. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to take forever, <laughs> and it'll also be one of the most profound experiences. <laughs> in comedy pinata experience and and we just don't want to do that to it we want we want us right here we yeah. want us right here we don't want we're just like right we're we're you know yeah we're arby's right we're arby's <laughs> we're five for five yeah we're not you know not a separate order we're we're a whole bag of sandwiches that's right yeah yeah dude i really need to stop taking nyquil and shit during the day oh, you i've had a cold yeah i'm looped man <laughs> Thanks for coming back to another episode of Comedy Pinata, everybody. For Reno Collier, I'm Steve Byrne. We'll see you next time.